After choosing your wedding outfit and jewellery, the next in line to complete your bridal ensemble is the bridal footwear. If you are the bride or in the bride's crew, choosing the right pair of shoes is very important. So today we have some footwear options for you to wear under your lehenga to make that ultimate fashion statement while always staying comfortable. If a bride is looking to go traditional, juttis might just be the right fit. Needle Dust brings in handcrafted fine leather juttis with an old school charm. But the design sensibilities of a modern, luxurious shoe brand. We launched in a market where, where an average girl wears 6 inches heels. But I wanted to know if there are more people out there like me who wanted comfortable but embellished beautiful flats. And I love the handicraft and um, the fact that we've been able to convert non jitsi wearers or lovers into jitsi wearers. Right. I feel like, you know, we've, I've, I've been able to achieve that aspect of launching Needle Dust. So we do a line of traditional wear where you can wear with saris and your lehengas. And then we do something quirky like with beads and metallic fringes and things like that that you can just throw on with your jeans or your pants or your skirts and your shots and things like that. There was this, this tan brown or silver right. gold, right? There was not no, no, no variety, fun. no yeah. colour. Yeah, the world, world is going to call out to you, right? There has to be something fun, like something quirky, something that there is something for everyone's personality. So I feel like if someone enters a needle store, no matter what personality, what age group you're in, you're going to find your perfect pair. Let's talk about uh, the latest development with Needle Dust. The, the collaboration that uh, that has brought a smile to your face. Yeah. Please tell us what's happening in Needle Dust. So we just collaborated with the international couturiers, uh, Abhijani Sandeep Khosla, and of course I'm super excited about it and that's why I can't stop smiling. So we've, we've done something that we haven't done before. Uh, we've played with a lot of new materials, we've played with a lot of new styles. Um, they're an accessory to their garments. Mm -hmm. And it's been extremely interesting. We've done a lot of colours. More than that, we've done a lot of variation. We've done leather patches, we've done high-grade crystals. So we've done a lot of beautiful stuff, you know. So it's been really exciting and now we're working together for the spring-summer collection on the collaboration. So which will be a lot of fun as well. So you've also done Priyanka Chopra yes. and Deepika Padukone's wedding. Yes. What was that experience like? So it was amazing. So first was Deepika and Ranveer's wedding. We got, they got in touch with us and they said that uh, they'd like to do juttis for their guests. Oh. Yeah, so uh, she was particular that she wanted gold and silver and then we did custom pouches. She wanted custom pouches because it was an international wedding. So on their mehendi, they gave it to all their friends and family. That was the theme of the wedding, the gold and silver. Wow, that's so beautiful. Yeah, so th those were given to the friends and family so that they could wear it the next year as well on the wedding. With Priyanka and Nick's wedding, that was another beautiful event. We, it, the association started from her engagement. Um, she won needle dust, uh, Monroe Jati, this beautiful grey pearl Jati we do on her engagement. And then some, uh, I think few months later we got a call where she wanted to do a pop-up at the at Umed Bhavan for her wedding for her friends and family. Oh wow! Yeah, so needle dust team went there, we did a lovely pop-up uh, where we did a display of all our uh, best sellers as well as we launched the Abu Jani and Needle Dust collection at, at the event. And how did it fare? And it did really well, like I think people loved it. I mean her guests who had come from uh, the States and all around the world um, budget is for the event and also for as gifts for back home for friends and family and things like that. So we got to style Sophie Turner. So now I have the perfect question to follow that up. You've done okay. so many weddings now. Yeah. What is your forecast for the weddings that are going to, the, for the future weddings? What kind of juttis are brides going to be into? So, for the coming season, what um, what we're suggesting is uh, colour on colour. So what I really love, and a lot of brides are doing colour on colour, like if you're doing a turquoise to a turquoise, if you're doing a red to a red, if you're, wearing a, if you're doing an all gold to a gold. Uh, so do a colour on colour, uh, which, is, which is really beautiful and sort of like this sets the fluid tone of the entire outfit as well as the shoe. But what the brides want now is they want, they don't want something too traditional. Mm. They want to bring in like a lot of glam, a lot of right. drama, you know, they want to do something edgy, a lot of fun. Okay. So we've done like this, we've done a giraffe. Uh, this is like basically a honeymoon theme, if you may call it. Oh, you know? really? Yeah. 
like the slippers, the flip flops, the scandy, and the other one has like a Hawaiian elephant on it, this watermelon, the pair of this are two different pairs. What is the price point of your juttis? So needler start juttis uh, start at 2700 mm -hmm. and they go up to 3600 and um, the Abu Jani collection starts at around 5500 and it goes up to 7500. If you want that extra bling on your wedding footwear, Dyuti Bansal is the person you should meet. Her heels are in no way the regular run of the mill. These beautifully handcrafted and embellished footwear will make you feel like a princess on your wedding day. The need was there. We never had, you know, innovative and, you know, interesting shoes that you know, make you curious. When I started doing this, that is when I realized that there are so many others like me. Right. People are hungry for good shoes, comfortable, fancy, just something that just gets you excited, something that just pops up your outfit, you know. Hmm. When you wear it, that is when you realize how gorgeous it's making you look. Right. You know, it's not just the shoe, it, it doesn't exist in isolation. Hmm. It, it becomes a part of you. We will take a very basic colour, but we'll play around with different hues of that colour. Mm -hmm. Say it's a white, but there are there's an ombre to it. There's there's say like this, this one. one. Yes, yes. So there are four different colours in this. Oh, okay. So it makes it you, so you know, can wear it with a lot of colours. You can definitely wear it with a lot of colours. Yes. Even with this one, there's exactly. so much going on. Yes. You can wear it with a silver, a white, or a grey or anything. With your shoes, I think it's a trend of its own. So I don't think you follow trends uh, yes. or anything. You're right. But if you if you were to, you know, what's your prediction for your next collection? What are you thinking now? Um, well, uh, we 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 have two parallel collections. One is a very geometric, origami inspired, contemporary collection mm. with more su subtler colors. Mm. And one is of course a surreal collection, the mystique collection. Right. And you know, gone are the days where brides follow trends. Yeah, they, I don't think so. Anymore. They just want to, they love, you know, this whole uh, getting, buying stuff for their wedding and putting things together and they want everything to be perfect and they want to make their own statement. Yeah, true. So, you know, sometimes I have brides whom, if I tell them, why don't you, if you have a gold lehenga, why don't you get a gold? They say, no, we want to get a red shoe with a gold lehenga. Really? Yes, they, we want our shoe to pop. I, would, I wouldn't say stick to any one trend. Girls should have fun. Brides oh, yeah. should have yeah, the most us. fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah, brides should have the most, so, uh, most fun. Uh, if you're wearing a gold lehenga, go for a red shoe. Don't go for ah. a gold shoe. But uh, even if you go for a gold shoe, our gold shoe has five different shades of gold. The gold shoe should look like this. Should not even <laughs> look like this. it's pure gold. Something that looks like this must be expensive also. <laughs> What's the price range like? Like where does it start and where does it end? Uh, our shoes start from 7,500 and they go up to 22,000. Sneakers are taking over bridal heels and if you thought that white sneakers were your only option, well, you're in for a surprise. Whether you're the bride-to-be who doesn't play by the rules or the bridesmaid who has a quirky edge, Poshampa has an array of options, customized in every possible color and size. I am an artist, like I like painting uh, from childhood. I was into art only. My then boyfriend and now husband, he told me that why don't you do something with a product and art so that people can afford, like everybody cannot afford a painting of 50,000, 60,000. It's mm. very uh, like uh, expensive. expensive. And uh, from then I uh, thought that why don't I just combine art with some product and shoes is like, uh, Everybody loves shoes and canvas is something I can paint on. Mm. So I thought I'll make, I'll paint shoes and I just sell them. And uh, I just made a uh, few, two, three pairs in the starting. And I saw that what's the outcome of that. And uh, soon I, I started getting more requests of different designs which clients wanted. What was your breakthrough product? That one shoe after which uh, you created it and it was like all over the market. Yeah, so this is the Banno Tera Swagger. 
So oh, I, that's so yeah. cool. So uh, one of uh, my followers uh, on Instagram, she was getting married, and she told me that create a shoe something different from for me. So I thought like, why don't I make a wedding sneaker? So it will be comfortable at the wedding. So she wore it on her wedding. And With a lenga. Yeah, 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 ah. yeah, yeah. So uh, from that day, it like it it boosted. From then, uh, I get a lot of request of wedding shoes uh, in the wedding season mm. each year, and I made Bannotara swagger, Pataka Dulan, and uh, some uh, sneakers with gungroos, okay. and uh, I did embroidery also, and I made for groom also like the bangdula. Is there a change in the industry like now? Brides are wearing a lot of sneakers with lengas. Do you notice that? Yeah, yeah. So they are more open. They want to experiment. So they are not like that. We will wear only heels and we will just be in the pain at the whole function. They just want to be comfortable. Right. They want to enjoy their wedding. Of they course. want to enjoy their time because it's once time, once in a lifetime kind of thing. So if a bride is wearing a red lenga or green lenga or maroon blue, so they just send me the photograph of their lenga. Or if their groom is wearing some special specific color so they uh, just uh, tell me that they want a color matching to their outfit or some uh, uh, color in contrast which will go well with their outfit and you do bride grooms both you do grooms yeah. also yeah i do grooms also and so there have been times when you've made shoes for both of them yeah 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 i sent okay. a pair for both okay for their haldi and they wore it for the photo shoot also pre wedding photo shoot and uh, sometimes i get request like for the pre wedding shoot they want uh, they wanted me to write the date they met uh. so it will be like a uh, forever thing in their photographs so lovely very nice because this is the kind of work like i'm passionate about i don't i don't look at it as a work mm. so i enjoy this thing more so you should really follow your passion it's such a nice story that garma has that she follows a passion she does a regular job it's she's like superman okay So uh tell us about the price point uh, of these shoes ranging from the regular ones to the bridal. Yeah so for the regular ones it starts from 1500 and the for my wedding series they are priced at 2200 all inclusive shipping. We discovered that this wedding season comfort over style is trending a lot. And if you can get an amalgamation of both that's awesome right? If you have any more ideas on where I should go shopping for weddings or any other place you want me to explore leave a comment below and keep watching indianexpress.com